Your screen turns on, the mouse cursor appears, but nothing else, just a black background that won't go away. This issue affects a lot of Windows 10 and 11 users and usually comes down to a graphics driver glitch or a failed system update. In this video, you'll learn clear step-by-step -step methods to fix the black screen with cursor problem. No risky repairs, just safe solutions you can try at home. If this helps, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more tech fixes. The first thing you should try is restarting your graphics driver. To do that, press the Windows key, Control, Shift, and the letter B on your keyboard all at the same time. If you do it right, you'll hear a small beep sound. That means the command went through. What this does is refresh your graphics driver, and in many cases, it can fix the black screen with cursor issue right away. It's quick, safe, and doesn't make any changes to your files or settings, so it's worth trying first. Now press Ctrl, Alt, and delete together on your keyboard. This should bring up a screen with a few options. From there, click on Task Manager. If Task Manager opens, that's great, we can move to the next fix. But if nothing happens and the screen stays black, don't worry, just skip this step and go on to the next part. Inside Task Manager, look for the Processes tab. Find Windows Explorer in the list. Once you see it, right-click on it and choose Restart. This will try to reload your desktop and icons. That should bring your desktop back if the issue was caused by the system interface not loading properly. If that still doesn't work, you'll need to boot your PC into safe mode. First, press and hold the power button on your computer for about 10 seconds to force it to shut down. Then turn it back on, and as soon as you see the Windows logo, hold the power button again to shut it off. Do this three times in a row. After that, Windows should automatically take you to the recovery screen. When that screen appears, click on Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, then Startup Settings, and click Restart. After your PC restarts, press F4 to enter safe mode. If you want to use the internet while in safe mode, press F5 instead. This special mode helps load only the basic drivers and can help you figure out if something running in the background is causing the black screen. Once you're in safe mode or back in the recovery menu, go to Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, and click on Uninstall Updates. You'll see two options here, one to uninstall the latest quality update and another to uninstall the latest feature update. Start with the quality update, since that's usually the cause. Select it and let Windows remove that update. Once it's done, restart your computer and see if the black screen problem is gone. If that doesn't help, go back to the Recovery menu, click on Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, and then System Restore. Pick a restore point from a date when your computer was working normally and follow the instructions. This will bring your system settings and files back to how they were before the issue started, without deleting your personal files. If you still see the black screen, open the recovery menu again and choose Command Prompt. In the window that opens, type SFC slash scan now and press Enter. Let it run and finish scanning. After that, type CHKDSK slash F slash R and press Enter. These two commands will check for and fix any corrupted system files or hard drive errors that might be causing the issue. It can take a while, so be patient and make sure your computer stays plugged in. If nothing else works, the last option is to reset your PC. Go to Troubleshoot in the recovery screen and click on Reset this PC. Choose Keep My Files so that your photos, documents, and other personal data stay safe. This will reinstall Windows and remove any software or settings that might be causing the black screen. Only use this step if all the others didn't work. That's it for this video on how to fix the Windows black screen with cursor issue. I hope these step-by-step -step methods help you get your PC back to normal. If you tried any of these solutions and they worked for you, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to help. 